climate change, its effects, and possible solutions. This is a call for action. Climate change is topical today, like at any other time. And the reason is because it is affecting everybody of us in any way. And if we don't act now, the scientists have actually given us about two degrees more. If there's any other increase, about two degrees Celsius to the global temperature, it, it will be a point of no return. And in agriculture, we call it a wilting point. If any plant reaches a wilting point, no matter how much water you pour on it, it will not recover. We don't want to get there. Everything that we do has to be accountable. We have to be accountable to everything that we do. In order for us to live in harmony with nature, accountability is very, very important. And we haven't been accountable. Hence, the challenges that we're facing. I'll start with heaven. For those that believe in the Bible, Adam and Eve lived in heaven in harmony with nature. But there was one thing that he was told. He had to be accountable. Otherwise, face consequences. And we know that the moment he was not accountable, God kicked him out of heaven. And he was told to go to earth, and from your sweat you shall live. The scientists tell us that earth evolved over a long period of time. And the reason for that is all the living things that were on earth, and they had to adapt. Adaptation requires time. You cannot adapt. Immediately something changes. Otherwise, you go extinct. The lesson that we are letting here is that we need to be accountable. The interaction between the environment and anything that lives within that environment results in effluence, byproducts. And these products affect what is happening within that environment. Man's activities has accelerated this interaction. In the 18th century, we did have an industrial revolution in Europe, and that caused a lot of byproducts because effluents were being released en masse. In order for us to live well, we had to do trade between countries, and that acceleration resulted in more effluence until at one point scientists discovered that some of the effluents like CFCs caused an ozone layer depletion. It was the first time that scientists started coming together and bringing in information, and the first time that a real action was, 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 was brought to book was in 1992 at the Eighth Summit in Rio de Janeiro, when scientists started talking about sustainable development. We only have a resource that is limited. And if we don't do anything in the way that we use that resource, including Earth itself, then the consequences start coming in. Unfortunately, 30 years to date, from 1992, nothing much has been done. We are lacking the will to act, even when we know that whatever that we are doing is affecting us. We are all living in a comfort zone. The rich want to continuously utilize fuels simply because they'll tell you if we stop this, the economy is going to collapse. The poor, we keep on telling them continuously do this because the alternative is very difficult. This is your living, continue doing. And we have allowed this to continue for a long time. We don't need to wait for disaster to, to, to come and hit us before we change. And we as human beings, we have shown each time the calamity comes on us, we have come together, used our intelligence and resources to combat that calamity. 
Just recently, we had COVID-19. Everything stopped because our own lives were in danger. We didn't even mind about the economy because if you continued, you would die. At a local level, we have certain ministries that have acted. We have Ministry of Fisheries and uh, Livestock. Recently, they put, they put up a fishing ban for six months on Lake Tanganyika. This was despite everybody saying, this is providing a livelihood to the people. But it was necessary because sometimes the consequences of not acting is going to make people poorer. The same ministry, because of depletion of fish in the, in, in the waters and rivers, they have banned monofilament nets. And they are burning them. They are confiscating from the shops, from the traders that are selling it. Now, that is action. If we don't act, we will perpetuate poverty and perpetuate those things that are making us suffer. I'll give an example of a bucket. If you have a bucket full of water and you want to access it by putting holes around it, and you want to adapt by filling it using some methods, that activity is now on void because the two rates are not going to be compatible. The holes are going to drain the water faster than your adaptation. What you need to do is stop putting holes in the bucket. The same way that we need to stop some of these activities. We are spending more time looking for innovations of how to adapt than stopping that which is causing you to lead into developing these adaptation methods. Ease is always an enemy of progress. We are always sitting in our comfort zones and enjoying it, and yet we are sitting on a powder cake upon which once it bursts, all your comfort is going to go like it almost went during the COVID-19. We need to act now. We need to come up with policies and the will to act on those policies and not wait for nature to turn around and hurt us. Recently, we have been told that we need to reserve 30% of seascapes and landscapes for conservation. Countries like Zambia, a long time ago, we have about 40% of the landmass reserved for either wildlife or, or forestry. But what are we doing in these areas? What we see is people moving from areas that they've messed up into the GMAs and other areas in the forests, instead of remaining and utilizing that same piece of land. Now, if we don't act now, again, the consequences are that the two degrees rise in temperature will never will come full. Maybe we are even almost there. The will to act is important. It allows us to be accountable to nature. And remember the story of Adam and Eve, who were not accountable to nature. They ended up being kicked out, out of heaven. Are we leading there? Is the earth heat trying to tell us that time to act is now? You have to act now. Thank you very much.